Tip number 96. Place pins in schematic symbol the easy to read and consistent way. This is what I mean. This is a regulator and I'm going to use it as an example. So this is a regulator symbol and as you can see we didn't order the pins on this symbol the way as they are ordered on the physical chip. We ordered the pins different way. We placed the input pins on the left side of the symbol and the output pins on the right of the right side of the symbol. Yeah? The input voltage is on the left side. The enable signal, enable input is on the left side. The output pins of the regulator, they are on the right side and also the pins which are connected to the output, they are on the right side. In uh, most of the symbols what we create and most of the schematic pages what we create, everything flows from the left side to the right side. If you have a look on something a little bit more complicated, like this Ethernet fee, for example, and you can notice that the left side of this schematic symbol is all connected the, to the processor. And this right side of the schematic symbol, it goes out of the board. If we, if we connect a connector, again, you can see this, this HDMI connector, and everything goes from the processor out of the board. Out of the board is placed on the right side of the symbol. This is the left side, which is connected to processor. If uh, we are creating schematic symbol for connectors. This is a little bit special. On the connectors, we order the pins exactly the same way as they will be ordered on the physical component. So you can see all the pins here, they are ordered uh, just like one, two, three, four, five, yeah, in the order, exactly as they will be on the physical component. It's because we would like to see what signals are going to be neighbor signals. We had this, we had a tip about why you would like to be able to see what signals are going to be neighbor signals. And that's the reason uh, why we place them this way. If the connector is two row connector, like this one, this is a PCI Express mini card slot, and there are two rows of pins. Again, we order and we place these pins in the symbol of this PCI Express mini slot, we place them exactly the way as they will be on the physical component. So we can see how the signals are ordered. Here is different, very simple example. Yeah, USB switch. Again, you can see all the inputs, they are on the left side. This is the input voltage. These are the enable signals and the output, they are on the right side of the chip. These are the outputs and these are overcurrent signals. So if there is overcurrent on these outputs, this will, uh, this will send a signal to processor that there is overcurrent on the output. For the power input, very similar, okay? Signal goes from the left, so from the adapter, it goes into our board. So from the left to the right. That's why this uh, power input connector is facing to the left. But you don't have to do it exactly this way. Uh, you can do it the way as you like it. Just, uh, you know, order the pins the way that it just makes sense. It makes it easier to read the schematic. Yeah, do not leave all the pins exactly ordered as they are on the chip if it's not necessary. Group them and place them nicely on the symbol. So you just have a look and you see, ah, this is one interface. This is the other interface. This is connected here. This is connected here. These are inputs. These are outputs. These are digital signals. These are analog signals. 
or these are powers, these are grounds. Yeah, usually we place powers somewhere on the top area of the schematic symbol and the grounds on the bottom area or in the bottom area of the schematic symbol. Tip number 96. Place pins in schematic symbol the easy to read and consistent way. Why? It helps to create easy to read and easy to understand schematics. 